seals are good, oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady, go safe, go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Hey, come on, come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? Now that was some fine work on the pressure. You dug up the artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions? Oh, right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, I, I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. I have often asked Barrett that same question at various times and about various individuals that wanted to cause us harm. The most likely answer is that Barrett personally insulted him, typically by continuing to live usually after escaping from certain death, and often with an object multiple people wanted. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. Would you care to tell us what happened to our friend? Why you're here and he isn't? What happened when it was extracted? Did anyone see anything? Hear anything? Interesting. Similar to Barrett's description of the experience, with less embellishment. Dad and I will be riding passenger with you. The most boring job in space travel. I want to fly my own ship and go all over the place. Like you and Dad, really. But hopefully not as crazy as your travels. I thought Dad's were exciting. But yours? Brr. Reed. I look around the ship, but no touching. Dad lets me do all sorts of stuff on his ship. That was intense, wasn't it? The artifacts, I mean. Sorry, this must all be a little overwhelming for you right now. I guess a lot overwhelming, now that I think about it. I'm Noelle. It's really nice to meet you. And thank you for bringing the artifact to us. Planning on sticking around then? Good! Not every dream is a pleasant one. I agree with Noelle. The work is what moves us forward. I do not mind being asked to join in a debate. It was good to hear everyone's sides. But I do agree that we accomplished something together. Thank you for your help. I have no objections. Let us see what else we can find out there. Uh, this is just typical. Barrett hands over our ship and our robot to some random employee of that discount mining outfit he uses. And if we hadn't insisted on installing those emergency protocols, I guarantee you this rock breaker here would be halfway to Neon. Still doesn't excuse it. My frustrations lie more with Barrett, not the first time his shenanigans have jeopardized one of our ventures. And you must be the latest poor fool to get dragged into our dysfunctional little family. Whoa. I know a few dark sides of the Aquila moons, but if you're looking for deep history lessons... Well, I'm gonna fall asleep before you do. A <laughs> compliment from little Cora. It's not even my birthday. Now, let's talk business. Sarah tell you about the expedition?
second one was on Kazal, buried the same as the one you found. But the first one, right under our noses for years, sitting in storage, masquerading as an oversized paperweight. Can you imagine potentially the greatest discovery in human history collecting dust? I'm not gonna lie, I really wish I could have seen this for myself. It's hard to judge otherwise. I may not always have the perfect advice for people, but I try to just be here for them. I think that's what they really need more than anything else. Were you seeking worldly wisdom or just a friendly ear? It would, wouldn't it? Well, if you find it, be sure to come back and let me know. It would make the next sermon more memorable, if nothing else.